Stephen Hawking can be described in one word, genius. But with his vast knowledge in the fields of physics and mathematics, also comes depth. This quote, unfortunately, cannot be put into simple words and understood by many people. Yet, Stephen Hawking has done this in this book, Brief History of Time. This is the first edition of this book, and here, Stephen Hawking, in a few chapters, covers very important understandings of the universe. This is the first book that he has written which is meant for the ordinary folk. It's written in regular English, with only one mathematical formula equals mc squared used in it, which is amazing because you don't need to be major in physics or anywhere, any way good in maths to understand this. I'm not gonna lie, this book was a tough read. It took time and mental energy to get the points across and I had to highlight quite a bit. But having said that, if you're willing to put the energy in, it's so worth it. Because he confirms things that we are so unsure about, such as black holes, the vastness of our universe, potential for extraterrestrial life, as well as, as well as the end of the universe, also known as the Big Crunch. I heard of these notions before, especially in my physics class in secondary school. But we only really watch short videos and snippets of these trying to be dumbed down. And here, Stephen Hawkins covers these topics in as much depth as you need. It's so it's amazing to be able to understand a complex chapter in regular English. One other amazing attribute of this book is its glossary at the back. So for every physics and maths term that he uses, which you may not know, he has the short and concise definition written of it, which is so useful, to be honest, I use this quite a bit. This being the first edition of this book is short, and the second edition is quite larger and has more depth in it, but regardless, this was a great read. It opened my eyes to a few different topics, such as that black holes are actually white on the inside, and if you go through it, you could just travel dimensions, which is phenomenal if you think about it, and that life will always move forward for at least a few hundred million years. So there is no need to worry about the universe collapsing anytime soon. If you do find this book anywhere, try and pick it up and give it a read in a day or two.